good afternoon. I'm just outside the little village of Valbra in North East Derbyshire, junction 30 of the M1, if anybody knows it. So I've been doing some videos trying to trace the old former railway, the LD and ECR, Lancashire, Derbyshire and East Coast Railway. It's the last time I'm saying that. And um, I put up a post on Facebook saying, which is your favourite part? <laughs> Breaking my neck. Um, because I've done quite a bit of the Brayton branch now and um, some bits have been better than others and uh, Paul on Facebook said he loved the bits around Rother Valley that I also did in some of my first ever videos um, but he also said, he pointed out to me this uh, little section near Balborough, Balborough Common so where I am today I'm just in between the M1 motorway and where the track arcs round towards Spinkill Tunnel so it's a section, just like the, the, the bit of clown that we, we did last week that closed in the, in the 1960s, so it's been closed quite a long time. So I was a bit dubious if there was going to be anything around here. So I thought, I'll go and, uh, go and have a look. So that's where I am today. So uh, stick around, because we've also got a little bit of something else, a little bit of a bonus related to an old colliery, colliery in the area. quite a lot of rain this week it's made some of the public footpaths a bit stodgy so I'm just heading down the hill to that line of trees going across now that's the railway cutting or embankment I'm not quite sure yet so I've come down off that a bit a little bit of dual carriageway just off junction 30 of the M1 uh, and I've straight away come across the old track bed crossing the public footpath so I'm gonna try and fight my way through the bushes so in that direction a bit more overgrown that's the M1 and in that direction he's going down towards Spinkill and, uh, and Sheffield Road so I'm just gonna have a, a little pootle down there down the track bed as far as I can and see if is anything of interest. It's got some old fence posts just marking out the border of the railway. If you just nip into here. We've got the cutting down there. I'm going to try and get into. Right next to us is a chopped down telegraph pole. So I'm just looking for a way down into the cutting. We're really high up above the cutting now, actually. Looking for a way down that's not going to require some kind of ambulance or helicopter to get me out but coming across it's like an old bridge across the line see if I can get a bit closer doesn't look in too good a condition So it's like what we've got, we've got that old blue brick on the outside, but then where the blue brick's broken away, there's red brick inside. Right, I've gone back on myself a bit, um, managed to get into the cutting where it was a little bit shallower, so I'm just making my way down to that bridge, or that, that's uh, the old size of the bridge that we've just seen. Just keeping my eye out for anything else that might be in the undergrowth. It's, Here we are, here's the bridge. So we've just been stood on top of there, that's quite a quite a height. Side. That side's faring a little bit better. Not sure from the damage of the bridge whether or not this possibly could have been an arch. Let's have a look at the other side. Some trees growing out of it. Let's 
see if there's any markings on the bricks, but there's no, there's no, there's no prints on there. So I know there was an old brickworks just uh, just up the hill. It's part of the uh, part of the old colliery. So I'm going to press on as far as I can through the old cutting, just see if there's anything else down here. So I'm heading in the direction of the M1 motorway at the moment. We've got part of a sleeper there. Very mossed over though, difficult to spot. So it is, it is a bit overgrown, but there is a bit of a path, definition of a path. So I'm not, I can't ever believe someone would come down here. As far as, to my knowledge, it doesn't go anywhere. I'm not seeing anything else really. And the undergrowth is starting to, to thicken up. It's, it's like, the cutting's starting to level out now a bit actually. It's still quite deep on this side, but we are starting to see the top of the field on this side. So there's not a lot, not a lot to show you really. There's not a lot of further railway stuff down here. But it is quite an it's got a funny eerie feel to this. I'm gonna press on as far as I can. Just because I can. Got to be on the lookout for stuff like this that's sticking out the side that's just caught my eye. I'm not sure what it is, it's some some kind of concrete that's mostly buried, but it's protruding a little bit there. Coming all the way, all the way back there. Some foundations for something by the by the looks of things. But the cutting is now turning into an embankment. And I don't know how much further I'm gonna be able to get. Just picking the thorns out of my leg, the trousers. Don't seem to have given me much protection. I'm really glad I pressed on because look, and I didn't know this was here. Look what's just appearing through the trees. Some kind, some kind of hut. It's really thick vegetation, but I'm really, really keen to get in. Let's try another way. Yeah, well look at that. Well, look at that, isn't that worth it? So I'm at the doorway now, so let's go inside. It's like somebody's made themselves a bit of a den. That spider was about two inches wide. Looks like somebody, some bit of a party den at some stage. Doesn't look to be recent though. That's quite an old Morrison's bag there. So this concrete thing that I've just found just over there was obviously obviously from this. And there's the other door. Not much use in the rain.
stuff like this really makes the effort that goes into these videos worthwhile. Just knowing, just finding something like this, but not knowing it was here. Yeah, we'll say goodbye to that hut and I'll crack on down the down the track bed which is now an embankment so something else more concrete remains it's like we've got quite a bad landslip yeah the entire embankment's just just caved in down there it's uncovered quite a lot of ballast but um, since I've gone past that plate layers hut or whatever it was um, it has got a lot tougher going um, I don't think anybody's been coming down here but I ain't getting any further than this I don't know what's down there I'm quite intrigued but uh, I don't think that's going to be possible to get any further So I've doubled back on myself now and I'm going in the opposite direction. So I'm going away from the M1 down towards, is it Sheffield Road? The road between Renishaw and the M1. Um, I've had to kind of abort walking down the trap bed because it was a bit thick and I came to a, a kind of ravine that I just couldn't get across and I couldn't see anything of interest. So I've just come around the other side of the farmer's field and I'm trying to get onto the banking. I've really not thought this through. So I'm gonna start packing spare underwear as part of these outings that I do. Just been walking along through the wood and four deer have just come hurtling from literally just by the side of me. Didn't see them, right in front of me. Big white backsides up in the air. Oh. I really didn't know what was going on. I thought they were wolves at first. What are wolves are gonna be doing in Sheffield? So I'm just on the side of the cutting. Yeah. So I'm just on the side of the embankment. I'm not sure if I'm meant to be in this field, probably not to be honest. So if it's any consolation to the farmers for my trespassing, the mud's made a pretty good job of ruining my uh, trail shoes. There's another bridge. So as you'd expect, the railway's been closed over 50 years now. Quite poor state of repair. Bits falling off the side there. So just walked up the edge of the field and I'm now overlooking the cutting underneath. So I'm quite near to, uh, to the main road now, going into Renishaw. I don't know if there's going to be a way of getting down there, to be honest. So I'd love to get down into that cutting and have a, and have a look. I really can't find a way in. The only way that I can find to get through the fence is too high and too steep to get down the sides. But I'm just making my way back up now towards the road, end of the video. And I'm at the end of the spur off the main line that connected up with the quarry. Um, quarry, sorry, the colliery. I'll put on screen just where I am. And round about where this little spur ends, just come across this little area, there's a little drainage pipe there. But look, looks like there's a little area that's been opened out, quarried away. I wonder if this was something to do with where the old tramway from the colliery at the top of the hill met up with the LDECR on this spur. I'm not quite sure, but there's definitely something that's been uh, carved out of the hillside, man made. Again, anyone, local, local knowledge, fill me in. 
Yes, so this section of this section of the LDECR didn't even occur to me to even even look at it. I know it's uh, the M1, obviously. Now that's filled in the line, and the cutting that then took it behind Balba towards Clown has been filled in as well. It's no longer there. Nothing to see. But um, I just didn't even consider this this uh, this section. So again, thanks to people who comment, send me messages interact with me on Facebook um, got some grey, I swear I get my inspiration really so alongside of the old LDECR we had cotton collieries I think there was two two shafts um, correct me if I'm wrong I'm not an expert on, on my collieries um, but yeah it was suggested to me just to look out for this old tramway that ran from the colliery up here down into Rennie Shore. It looks like, from what I can see from old maps, it went down to where the ironworks is, onto the side of the canal. Um, so what I've, what we've got here, just uh, about 100 yards from the side of the old track, is the remains of the old engine house from the colliery. And there's no remains or evidence of any of that tramway anymore there's a couple of lines of trees you can make out but there's really nothing worth showing but we've got a lot of a lot of brickwork left over from this old engine house just underneath the this tree here loads of it so I'll put up on the map just the location of that old engine house and that's exactly where we are today just under this tree so the best place that I could find to show the tramway was on Railmap Online. So I've just put an arrow where we are at the location of that engine house. And we can see just at the side of it, the LDECR. And I've just labelled the sidings where we've just been stood a few minutes ago. So here's a wider view where we can actually see the line of the tramway. And I've labelled up the ultimate end of the tramway in Renishaw there. So we can see from this map that there was two spurs to that tramway. There was one going to the cotton colliery number one and one going to cotton colliery number two, also called hazel colliery. And we can also see that side in there, hazel colliery sidings is, uh, is listed on this map. Yeah, but you'd never know. Um, you'd never know what that was. It's just a pile of bricks. But yeah, interesting remains. So I have been told there are lots more remains like that scattered about. Uh, in the neighbouring fields. I've not seen anything so far and I really don't know where they are so I, I can't really show you anything else at the moment. If anyone if anyone knows, look at the size of these. Mushrooms. They're massive. So anyway, I thought this was only going to be a short video so I'll leave it there. Um, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching and take care.